All right, so a ball is thrown downward from an 18.2 meter tall building at a speed of 6.82 meters per second. Now notice I, I carefully use the word speed here, okay? Uh, to not give away the sign of this. But of course, if it's thrown downward, that's a negative velocity, right? And then the fact that it goes from the top of the building down makes this displacement also negative. So let, let me just show you. So, so here is this building. And it's 18.2 meters tall. This ball is given an initial velocity that's downward. So the initial velocity is going to be negative 6.82 the displacement from here to the ground, isn't that down? S is going to be negative 18.2 meters. Okay, so let's suvot this. And we're suvoting from here, from its release to hitting the ground. So the displacement is that it goes down 18.2. So that's why it's minus. The initial velocity is negative 6.82. Final velocity we don't know. This is negative 9.81, right? And then we can solve for the time. Now, obviously, I could set up um, I could set up the quadratic equation. I could use no v solve for t. It would be quadratic. I would choose the what the shortest time possible that's positive. Okay. Um, well, let's let's do it a different way, right? Let's find the final velocity. Okay. What's its velocity? It's, and it also kind of leads you that way, right? So the velocity of impact with the ground, I'm going to use no t. Okay, so the absolute value of v is the square root of, oops, I didn't leave room for the equals, the square root of, and then you got to be careful here. Put this in parentheses, or don't use the minus, even better. Okay, but if you're using a ti calculator and you square negative 6.82, it'll give you a negative answer, which is wrong. It's incorrect, in my opinion. So you've got to put these parentheses around that or you'll mess up. <laughs> I see this all the time. Okay, so plus 2 times negative 9.81 times negative 18.2. Notice that this term here is going to make the answer bigger than the absolute value of 6.82. Okay? Because this will be a positive number. So I'm doing the square root, left parenthesis, negative 6.82, right parenthesis squared, okay, plus 2, I shouldn't have to put parentheses around that, folks, negative 9.81 times negative 18.2, and I get that the absolute value of that final velocity is 20.0897 meters per second. Now for sure it's going down right before it strikes the ground. So I'm going to say that the final velocity is negative 20.1 meters per second. Okay. Now what time does it take to reach the ground? I'm going to use, I guess, no, um, no S for that, just for kicks. Okay. So negative 20 Point zero eight nine seven. I'm not going to use the rounded value, right? Uh, equals negative six point eight two plus negative nine point eight one times t. Okay. Divided by nine point eight one, and I get that the time is 1.35267, uh, with three sig figs, it's just 1.35 seconds, is that right? 6.82, yeah. T is 1.35 seconds. So this answer here is not quite right. Okay, 1.35, yeah. I'm gonna stand by that. <laughs> All right, 1.35 seconds. 